gang, today we are taking a look at the Deluxe Memory Man from Electro Harmonics. Look at that, and there's Mike Matthews there in the background. Um, this is a big box from the 90s. I haven't had it since the 90s. I would say about 13, 14, I don't know, something like that years ago. Dave Friedman built me this huge, awesome pedal board with this cool backlight and stuff like that. Uh, when I brought in all my pedals, he recommended two pedals. And one of them was the Memory Man. He's like, get one of the big ones. It has the, the level knob, so you could use that as an extra boost if you want it. Um, and he was right. This is a killer uh, pedal. So it was on my board for a long time, but when I dismantled the board, because it was just so big, uh, I put this in the closet. Because look at the size of this. I mean, here's a regular pedal. And then here's this. So you're looking at like half of your board for a very colored delay. So in my closet, it stayed for many years, 10 years or so. Uh, and I put it up for sale because I was looking at the prices thinking like, holy smokes, it's like stupid clown prices. Um, and someone asked me like, hey, is this still available? Everything's working and that? I said, well, let me be a cool guy. I'm gonna plug it in and check it out for you. Make sure. Now that is the worst thing you could do if you're ever selling something. Here's pro tip. If you're gonna sell something, just let it go. Do not check it. Because I plugged it in and instantly was like, Oh dang, uh, this is really good. Uh, and then I brought out all my other delays. So you're like, well, I'm sure something could just do that. Um, so yeah, and I ended up just going like, I'm gonna mess with this thing, it's killer. And then I emailed the guy back and said, I don't think I'm gonna sell it. I'll just keep it around. And it'll live in the closet, it'll come out when I need it. So what is it? It's an analog delay, goes to about 500, 550 milliseconds. At its lowest settings, it does an amazing slapback that almost borders on just like a room ambience, ambiance. Um, there's this chorus vibrato, which is essentially modulation added to the sound. So you could kind of get a chorusing thing, even though it's, uh, it's all mono. There's two outputs. You come in and you could go dry and 100% wet, or you just come out the mono output and blend to taste with the uh, the blend knob there. Uh, that's what I did. Everything is mono, uh, unless you have, do the Andy Timmons and run two of them or something like that. But it sort of requires its own power supply, which is a drag. So you have this wall wart that's always plugged in, you know, in your pedal board. You have to make accommodations for that. It has an on off switch, which I, I actually do like. <laughs> Thank you.
of the delays that I'm throwing at it. There's the Boss DD500, which is a fantastic sounding delay. It's really not meant for knob turning. It's a set your preset and go for it, but it's great sounding. The analog patch in there is really filtery. I don't know if it's of a deluxe memory man. I think it might be more like an old Boss delay. It's really dark. The IK Multimedia X-Time, awesome sounding delay, tons of features, and it's got knobs. You can actually like twiddle and stuff on it. But the analog patch, which I'm guessing was supposed to be a deluxe memory man, already has the modulation built in. It's always doing it. So if you wanna get a dry, non-chorused, deluxe memory man sort of sound on the analog, you're out of luck there. So I switched to the tape, which kind of sounds like the, the memory man. Uh, and it's really good sounding. The UA Starlight, that's definitely a knob turning box. There's only two presets available, no MIDI, uh, but they have a Deluxe Memory Man emulation that's pretty close and they have three modes in there. So you can really dial in uh, some, some Memory Man goodness there. Uh, all right, I'm just gonna have everything laid out in front of me and uh, hopefully you can follow along with the, the delay nonsense.
that's the Electro Harmonix Deluxe Memory Man. Uh, if you're interested in a Memory Man, uh, I mean, you could you saw the reverb prices, they're they're crazy, but uh, they make tons of different versions for really any, any price point. There's also tons of emulations and digital ones, as I, I showed here. Um, if you're interested in anything new, um, I've got a Sweetwater affiliate link uh, down in the description stuff there. And uh, if not, also cool. Uh, if maybe hit that like button or something, but uh, mostly thanks for watching. All right, take it easy, y'all.